Ghost caught on cam. Look closely at rocking chair. Turn up volume to hear ghostly whispering. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. A little flashing of a light there. Kind of looks cool. Kind of creepy. Oh, there we go. It's rocking. That's weird. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dr. Steve here, and given that it's spooky season, we're going to look at some of the scariest videos on the internet. Why? I have no idea. But we're going to learn a thing or two about why we're so attracted to terror. So let's dive in. Oh, this is so weird. This is dash cam footage of what literally looks like a freaking real-life zombie. Look at that. That's so weird. I don't know if it's a zombie or not, but that stuff is creepy. You know the CDC has a page on zombie preparedness? Isn't that nuts? <laughs> That's what I thought of when I saw this. It's very, very interesting because there have been a number of articles written by academics on the trend of teachers employing zombie themes in their classrooms to get students more interested in the subject matter, whatever that subject matter happens to be. I guess zombies make everything cool, but I don't know if I want this lady in my classroom anytime soon. All right, speaking of zombies, I wasn't bothered knowing someone died in my new house, but imagine my surprise when I ripped up the floor and found this. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. It outlined of the body flat on its back or on its stomach. I don't know. In the bedroom? I mean, before you had funeral homes, the home was the funeral home. The person died at home, laid in repose at home, but I'm assuming someone got whacked in your house. That's Sucks to be you. Creepy broken tornado siren in Chicago. That's so weird. It's so dystopian. I'm waiting for some giant monster to come out of the clouds like Cloverfield. It's so eerie. I never liked Chicago. Okay, what Wait, the fuck? No, this is oh, not fucking happening. Dude, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a lost Ronald McDonald. Oh, I hate clowns. I hate clowns. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. What Stop. What the fuck? Oh my god. Stop. 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 Fucking drive. No, oh no. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh my oh, god. Stop. Stop. Oh shit. No, no. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, turn. Shit. Turn. Fuck. Well, that was horrifying. I don't, look, I don't mean to spoil it for you here, but I did read up on this. This was a setup. The guys in the front of the car staged it to freak everybody out in the back seat. So the people in the back seat were really reacting here. They didn't know what was going on. Do you know the term cholerophobia? It's the technical term for an excessive fear of clowns. And it goes back to Charles Dickens in this 19th century. He was the first to present the clown as creepy and spooky. And that's what they're freaking out over in this car. Ah, Japanese ghost lord. The Japanese, they are masters at terrifying apparitions. You know the movie The Ring, based on the novel by Koji Suzuki? This is going to be scary. I can already tell. Oh, I love drinking Japanese drinking uh, outlets. The food is amazing. Oh, there she is. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's so creepy. Look at her. It's like Walking Dead. It's just... It's so bizarre. Oh, I love it. Uh, and very Japanese. This is very, very Japanese. Oh, what are we seeing here? She is again. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. She's so inhuman. Oh, she's going to jump in front of the train. Oh, no. The shin comes in. Oh, and runs over. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my. So what happens? Oh, 
Oh, I knew it. Oh, gosh. She's, <laughs> she's there. She's staring from the plot from underneath the plot. Oh, my heavens. That's crazy. Wow, that was crazy. That was awesome. Japanese are so good with ghost stories because they have this fascinating relationship with the afterlife. In the Shinto tradition, if you honor and revere your ancestors rightly, they'll protect you from misfortune. But if not, if the ancestors are denigrated, or if there's still a grudge, right? That's another amazing Japanese film, The Grudge. If there's still a grudge, that's when these ancestors become very, very malevolent. All right, here's another Japanese ghost one as well. Obviously, they're going through some ancestors stuff, that's for sure. This is so cool. I love these old Japanese houses. Certainly a hoarder lived there. And look at that Buddhist prayer rope. I wish I could read. I have to get my wife. She can read it for us. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Something's gonna pop out. I don't like pop outs. I don't like pop outs. No pop outs. <laughs> I get ki 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 ah. I don't like pop outs ah, Sorry that freaked me out Did you see it? Did you see the guy's head pop out from the side? Uh, you know, this is neat This is neat because The interplay between the spiritual and the moral Is a key characteristic in both traditional horror As well as modern contemporary horror The horror genre Whether in movies or literature if it's good horror, it's going to reveal evil as being really, really evil, right? And part of the fear and terror that we experience is we realize that evil is beyond our control. In many respects, it controls us. We don't control it. This is the whole Michael Myers phenomenon, the Halloween movie franchise. He's pure evil, and that's why you can't kill him. Evil is beyond our ability to control. And related to that, as we see particularly in Japanese horror, but also, as I understand it, in all horror traditions, we recognize that there has to be a good that's also beyond our control that can ultimately thwart and defeat the evil. So the horror genre, ironically, is an extremely spiritual and moral medium that reveals reality in its most dramatic form. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're so attracted to it. It's, and it's also why I think traditionalist societies like Japan are so good with it. All right, so what do we have here? These guys are hanging out in the dark. Oh, it's always in the dark. Dark is the absence of light. What's going on here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone's gonna pop out a guy. Hey, perfect! This is... Hey! Did you see? Oh, that's so creepy! I hate those things. Did you see that? Ah, show it again. <laughs> All right, that's it for me, gang. That's it. I am done with these freaky ghost figures passing by. That was creepy. It's creepy that these guys don't even know what's behind them. Again, it's something beyond our control. So which one of these did you like best? What are some of your favorite horror movies? Let us know in the comments section below. It'll be awesome reading. Make sure to subscribe and hit notifications and definitely check out my latest video that's going to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. Can't wait to see you over there. God bless.